Host Input Authority Mode is a new way of handling netplay latency in Dolphin, in addition to the peer-to-peer -peer model. The peer-to-peer -peer model is extremely efficient for handling two-player games, but falls apart in three- and four-player games due to excessive synchronization and extremely high buffer requirements. If one computer has the slightest stutter, everyone suffers. What you're watching here isn't some frame-dumped remastering of a netplay session, it was a live recorded test of host input authority mode using OBS. Four players spanning the globe able to play smoothly and without the horrific latency that peer-to-peer -peer would have required. This is because host input authority mode gives the host's emulator exclusive control over when players' inputs are sent to the game. This means the clients are actually running asynchronously to the host. By having less synchronization than peer-to-peer, -peer, the game is able to run much more smoothly. Those tiny little stutters that would cause things to grind to a halt can now be smoothed out before they become a problem. Here's an example of what happens when Player 2's internet drops out for a significant amount of time. Dolphin pauses as it's no longer getting inputs and doesn't want to desync. Meanwhile, the hosts and any other players connected will continue to play onward. Then, when the player's internet returns, Dolphin tries to get them back to live as quickly as possible. Now, the game continues normally without desyncing, despite running asynchronously. In most cases, this process will be completely invisible to actual users. In fact, setting up netplay in host input authority mode is easier than ever. Dolphin will automatically keep the input latency as low as possible and most users will be able to set buffer straight to zero while playing. The buffer value now gives Dolphin a range in which it is considered caught up to prevent unnecessary speeding up and slowing down with particularly troublesome configurations. We hope users enjoy this new feature going forward as we try to bring the world closer by allowing them to get mad at each other over GameCube games.